the allegations by former CEO director are called upon by all of us to present facts so that we can deal with those. And of course, there are institutions established to deal with that. Uh, even if those even if those allegations he made to the minister of department of the public enterprise, Mr. Gordon, it doesn't change the fact that finally they must be dealt with by appropriate institutions. So we we, we leave that matter there because, to be honest with you, we. we we, we take serious what the CEO has raised. But we also argue that a CEO can do better. Because a CEO is put in a position of power, empowered to deal with those that information, unlike an ordinary citizen who is an ordinary whistleblower. And we want to argue that a CEO can do better in that position a CEO who, who really respect the fiduciary responsibilities that are accompanying the job. And we still believe uh, the rater can go further and actually give us more information. And we would request we leave this matter. And we take serious what Mr. Director said, taking into account that the positions he held. But I want to dare make this argument that I think a CEO can do better, and we think Mr. Director will take that into account to assist the country, because the fact that he makes that allegation, it means he's concerned about this, and also the cabinet would want to support him in that regard.